Hi, my name is Bianca. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. So today I just wanted to film this get ready with me. I'm heading to a friend's party soon. So I just wanted an excuse to dress up and play with some makeup. So if you are interested on how I achieve this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so jumping into this video, I'm just finishing my brows. I did them off camera. I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Brow Pencil in the shade Neutral Brown. And then I'll be following up with some concealer. I'm using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, the 16 hour wear, and I'll be carving out my eyebrows and then setting them with a translucent powder. Okay, and jumping into the eyes, this is going to be a very super easy tutorial. Uh, the shade I'm using is Bailout, I'm just going to place that all over in my crease. This is from the Troublemaker palette from Urban Decay. You can use any light brown peachy color that you want and I'm just placing that all over in my crease and on my lid. Okay, and then next I'm jumping in with the NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I'm creating a kind of like a fat wing. And I'm using the pencil to do this and then grabbing a more precise brush to clean it up and make it more precise. Okay, and next I'm grabbing this icy blue color from the James Charles and Morphe collab and I will be placing that right where I place that white jumbo pencil and placing that, kind of really packing that color on onto the wing because I want this to be the color that shows and that makes that beautiful icy blue wing. All right, and here I'm using a MAC 227 brush, and I'm grabbing that same color bail out and just buffing that in my crease again, just to kind of darken it up and add a little bit more definition. And then I'm going to show you a technique that I use to get my lashes nice and tight on. 
I use the duo glue and I actually place that on my um, lash line closest to my lashes and I also place of course the duo glue on my lashes itself I bend them to fit my eye and then I place them on one side at a time and this will definitely guarantee that your lashes aren't going anywhere honey and next I'm using the Essence Princess Lash Mascara on the base to blend my real and fake lashes then I'll be tight lining with the coal liner and then I'm spraying the Catrice Prime and Fine Setting Mist and placing the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer in my T-Zone to prime my face. And then I'm going to place the Argon Oil Highlighting Liquid on my cheekbones and a little bit on my nose to give myself a little bit of a do before placing foundation. And for a foundation, I'll be mixing two. I'm going to be mixing the Maybelline Matte and Poreless with the Maybelline Dewy and I'm mixing two shades, the 220 and the 225. After I've dotted the foundation all over my face, then of course I'll be blending out with a Morphe sponge. As always, I love to blend out my foundation with a sponge because it gives a more natural look. Moving on to concealer, I'm using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I'm doing one eye at a time, blending that out with my Morphe sponge, and then setting with the Pretty Vulgar Translucent Powder. One eye at a time. And also to set my entire face, I'm using the same translucent powder, the Pretty Vulgar. And I love using this technique as well to make sure everything looks very smooth and seamless. Moving on to bronzer, I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronze and I'll be bronzing up my cheekbones, my forehead, and underneath my chin as always. And to contour my nose, I'll be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette in the darkest shade. And to highlight, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in Molten Gold. For blush, I'm using the Balm Cosmetics in the shade Balm Springs and I'm placing that all over my cheekbones and a little bit on my nose. Okay, and to set everything in place, I'm using the Catrice Prime and Fine Setting Spray and then further blending out with my Morphe sponge to make everything look nice and seamless and blended and then I'll be smudging that same color bail out on my lower lash line and lastly for lips I'm using the NYX Cosmetics liner in the shade Sandstorm
After filling in my lips, I decided to go with the NYX Cosmetics Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Boulet. And lastly, I did decide to do an inner corner highlight and I used that same highlight, the Maybelline one, in my inner corners to add some brightness. Okay, this is the final result. I love how it turned out. It is exactly what I envisioned. So it's a little kind of out there. Maybe it's not for everyone, but I don't know. I just thought it was something different. I haven't played with blue, like a bright blue, kind of like a, what is this, like a 90s blue, right? Um, in a long time. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!